Welcome to The In-Between, where you can learn about your future in finance. Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about what to do with your coins after you have saved them. So what I have is I use a company called Stash and they allow you to purchase stock um, starting at $5. So I understand that most people don't believe in investing in the stock market uh, when you don't have that much money, but even $5 a month can grow into something that um, can be very substantial for you over time. And what I wanted to do today was try to explain what Stash does for you. So you'll set up uh, basically a brokerage account with Stash and you will invest your first $5. What does that mean? So you take $5 out of your checking account, putting in, it into the stock market and you can purchase fractions of shares. So you're if you take a company such as, I don't know, Netflix, who sells for $200 to $400 a share, um, I don't have $400 sitting around to buy one share of stock. And that is um, basically what all the other companies do. You buy your share of stock and you'll pay for every trade you make with most companies. There are some out there that let you, you um, trade without having to pay um, a, a fee every time. Uh, the other company is Robinhood that you could use. Now Robinhood, they only sell whole shares. They don't sell fractional shares like Stash does. So I, I really won't talk about them that much because that's really not my, my group of people. <laughs> so if you want to invest in your first company, Let's say you just love Apple. You love Apple products and you've always wanted to own some Apple stock, but you can't afford to purchase Apple stock because if you were to purchase it per share, you'd be spending. Apple is currently selling for $227.26 per share. So if you wanted to own one share of stock of Apple, that would give you, um, a fee of $227.26. Now, most people don't have that. So what you can do is you can invest $5 in Apple, which will give you a fraction of the share. And basically with Stash, they encourage you to pay money in um, every month rather than just buying lump sum and selling all because you see it move a fraction of a, a penny here and there. So if you purchase using stash it's basically um pushing you towards dollar cost averaging and what that means is you put your five dollars in this week you put your five dollars in next week the stock costs this much this week so if we pay 227 dollars and 26 cents and next week the stock is only worth 226 dollars you would buy that five dollar share at the lower price which would give you an average price of 226.5 which would be uh, uh which would which would increase the value of the stock which means you would have made well until you sell it you haven't made money technically but you would have made money also um, when you purchase these uh shares you can receive dividends. A dividend is a payout from the company, um, and you can get those quarterly and you, or sorry, quarterly or monthly, depending on uh, how the company pays. So these are things you definitely want to look into. And I will do some screen shares. And what I'll do is I'll show you what to look for when you're purchasing stock um, using the Stash app and how you should go about investing and putting your money in. Now this can be your savings account. If you don't have a savings account right now, this is a perfect opportunity. Um, it'll keep you from spending your money all the time and you can set aside certain amounts. Let's say, oh, you smoke a pack a day. As some people do and you decide you would rather instead of smoking those cigarettes, um, take that money and put it into 
um, uh, stash account. I, I saw on the Stash Invest website the other day, uh, not website, but the Facebook group, there was a gentleman who was um, smoking, I guess, $20 a day worth of cigarettes, and he's decided to take that $20 a day and put it in the stash um, instead. And I, I guess it's, it's a great way to, to, to move those and allocate those funds to make yourself feel good rather than smoking packs of cigarettes, I guess. So for me, what I changed was I was taking all my money and I was spending it on random things, i.e. food, uh, out and about, uh, drinking, uh, having fun, I guess. <laughs> but I still have fun, don't get me wrong, but I just don't uh, have fun the way I used to. <laughs> so uh, there are other options out there for you to do. Uh, saving your money will benefit you in the long run. I understand that some people that are going to rely on Social Security when they get older, but if you haven't been watching the news, they're pushing the Social they're trying to push the Social Security retirement age back to 70. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to work until I'm 70. If even if I could physically work until I'm 70, I don't think I would want to work until I'm 70. Um and there's, an, there's also the possibility that something could happen and the funds could not be there. So it's best to go ahead and you know start doubling down on yourself, saving in yourself. It's actually investing in you rather than investing in other things and other people. So when you go and you spend your money at the Walmart or you go spend it at Sears or I don't know if Sears is still a thing, Kmart and all those places, or Amazon even, you're giving the money, you're investing in other people at that point instead of investing in yourself. So the next time you're about to purchase something, um, ask yourself a question. Do you need it or do you want it? And I have to thank my husband for helping me with this thought process because things that I wanted felt like needs. So I, I have to say, oh my gosh, well, let's just say, um, you have something that you own, uh, a pair of sunglasses. And the sunglasses, they still fit your face, they still work, and you can still see through them. They're not broken. There's nothing wrong with them. And, uh, you, but you really want a new pair. But do you need a new pair? No, you got, you got a pair already. You already have it. So purchasing more is just wasteful. So, um, as my husband would say, ride it till the wheels fall off or something along those lines. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I dumbed it down to in my mind. I'm sure it's something more intellectual, but whatever. Anyway, um, the whole point of this video was to teach you guys about stash. And of course I go on my tangents and rants. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to put a link below, um, that will give you your first $5 free to invest in stash. So free $5 to invest in stash. If you use my link below, if this is your first understanding or, or first time learning about stash, please give me the credit by using my link because you'll get $5 and I'll get $5. Let's be real here. <laughs> so I'm going to do some screen sharing and show you how to use the app and what you should expect. Uh, it'll be in one moment. I wanted to start out by explaining that I did not want to show my home screen because I don't want y'all to know how much money I have, but I skipped past that and I wanted to show you the stash coach. Now you're not just investing and putting your money in and not knowing what you're doing. They have a coach where it'll walk you through and take you and tell you what exactly you should be purchasing to start out with so that you're just not buying in the blind. It's highly recommended to stay with the ETFs, which is the exchange traded funds when you start and then move on to purchasing single stock once you start feeling more comfortable. An exchange traded stock, sorry, an exchange traded fund is basically a group of single stocks that have been placed in a portfolio and are weighted at different weights as you can see their percentages on the side there so it gives you a grouping rather than you purchasing one stock it gives you more 
diversity and what you want to have in your portfolio is diversity in the event one thing goes down another has the option to hold the whole portfolio together and keep you from totally losing everything so I wanted to show the other options they have in here, you see they have all these types of ETFs that you can go through. Um, this is the big business bonds ETF with all types of different big businesses in there. They're paying a 3.52 dividend and the last price was $83.31. As you can see, it's a little bit volatile, not too much um, over the last five years, but when you switch to the one year, um, you see it's in a downward trend and in the last 12 months, it's lost 1.79%. Here are some other options that you can select from and they're all in the ETF section. These are the companies that is are being offered by Stash right now, just to scroll through and show a few. And I'm gonna select MasterCard and show that this one is a single stock that's selling at $222.70. Year to date, it's gone up 47.57%. That is amazing. Um, as you can see, it's a, in an upward trend. Uh, the last 12 months, it's been 58.7% increase in MasterCard, and I own MasterCard, just to let you guys know. Um, <laughs> it's a really good option. Uh, in the stash, app you also have a learn tab where you can go through and view some of the um, content they have there so you can learn a little bit more about it thank you for joining me in the in between today please subscribe <laughs>